What's up? How are you guys? We're just going to do a quick vlog, show you what's new this week, uh, sale items, everything we got back in stock. We are giving away collagen broth free with every order. Last week we did uh, two local ground beef and the beef blood free with every order. This week we're giving away the collagen bone broth. So if you guys have been wanting to try it, free with every single order this week. Uh, and we got a few new products to show you guys too, some new sausage and a few other things. I'm trying not to have a heat stroke because I gotta wear all these clothes and it's like 80 degrees outside uh, because I'm working in the freezer, but then like the rest of the day I'm just sweating. Uh, that beeping is a uh, new DVR I installed on the camera system because the, comp the, the company wanted like two grand to just swap out a new DVR because I couldn't view it on my phone, which is complete BS. You know, it's a camera system's already there. So did it myself for about 200, so save some money there. I'll show you guys the new supplements first real quick. So you guys saw this if you watched the day of eating last week. We got vitamin D in capsules now, 1000 IU per capsule. So nice convenient dose. You know, the liquid can be a little bit difficult to gauge how much you're taking sometimes even with the dropper. So we have vitamin D3, 1000 IU per capsule safe dose you know start with one two or three thousand per day see how you feel uh, most d3 supplements are way 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 too high anything more than two or three thousand for some people can be too much so you got to be careful with that something new is calcium uh, ever since i've been taking high doses of zinc and magnesium those deplete calcium so first time in my life i've ever really needed more calcium in my diet so we have again a safe dose. This is 100 milligrams of calcium carbonate, which is the natural chelation per capsule. I don't think there's any supplement this low dosed online. I'm, I'm actually curious to know what the lowest dose calcium supplement currently available is because most of them are like a thousand milligrams, 10 times what this is. But uh, 100 milligrams is what you get from drinking a whole bottle of water. So uh, to go a uh, bottle of mineral water. So to go 10 times that with some of these doses is a little crazy. So this perfectly lines up because you take one of these, which is 100 milligrams of calcium, and then we have our magnesium capsules, which are 50 milligrams per capsule. So it's nice because you take one magnesium, one calcium, and you get uh, a one to two ratio of magnesium to calcium, which is pretty good. And then probably the most significant one because uh, the other liquid K2 is very expensive. I think this is only 15 or $20 uh, a bottle. We have vitamin K2 in safe portions again. 100 micrograms of MK4 and 10 micrograms of MK7 per capsule. Uh, we gotta fix the label, it's a little incorrect here. It's, it shows amount per capsule, but it says amount per serving. So I'm gonna fix the labels on these, but K2, D3, calcium now available, organsupplements.com. Still waiting on the probiotic. Not sure when that's gonna come. Uh, and I'll talk more about these supplements when we have everything, but uh, like the MK7 and a lot of the dosages of these vitamins that other companies are selling, totally not safe, not safe at all. So that ratio of a 100 micrograms of MK4 to 10 micrograms of MK7 is what you should be taking. That's what naturally occurs in food. And unfortunately, there's no like supplemental option for a lot of, there's like MK8, 9, 10, 11. What you wanna do is have the, M, the vitamin K2 supplement and then have like high quality probiotic foods, water kefir, and uh, like raw cheeses to get the rest of your K2. It's not something that can really be supplemented 100%. I've been showing you guys, we've been doing the sale on the naturals a few more weeks. We'll basically have everything out of here. And uh, something new I'm messing around with, we're gonna have uh, clay shampoo available uh, later this week. This is the, the first failed batch. It's a little too liquidy, but we will have something functional for you guys. Just natural clay shampoo. Uh, it's not gonna be in glass. We, we do have uh, regular bottles for it because if, uh, if I do the clay shampoo in glass, imagine breaking this in your shower. Complete nightmare, you know. These glass bottles with shower tile, not a good idea. So we're gonna just do like a, a plastic bottle and I'm gonna rinse out the inside and make sure there's no chemicals or anything. So yeah, we already got three new supplements. We should have the probiotic coming. We're gonna have the clay shampoo available this week and I'll try to do uh, some other stuff. We have a natural sunscreen available now, but I'll try to do my own brand soon. Uh, we have the, the pomade that I've been selling, but we'll try to do a, a new and improved version. Let's see what's going on in the fridge. 
So we just got all the fresh raw dairy ready to ship out to you guys. I think we got nine water kefir flavors now. This is the ginger. Got way too much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Still got some sauerkraut guys, jardinera, plenty of the steak sauce. That's what's left of the beef blood. I think we're gonna run out because we're not gonna get any more in for about a month. We do have a decent amount of fresh beef in this week. However, this, as I said with the blood, will be the last fresh beef we're getting in for maybe a month, a month and a half. Uh, same with the steaks, the bone and ribeye steaks, the porterhouse steaks. If you guys want the fresh beef, uh, this is gonna be your last chance to get it for a little while. Over here we got just some pork bacon. New product, smoked cured pork bacon. Running low on the beef bacon, but we do have some more to slice. I kept pushing the pastrami on you guys because I thought we had a decent amount, but we sold out. I felt like I made a lot. I thought I made like close to 200 pounds of pastrami, but we only sold 115 pounds, which means I think we, I lost a lot more weight in the in the smoking than I thought I would, uh, which is which is not good. I probably didn't even charge enough to break even on it. So I'll, I'll try to make some more pastrami. Uh, maybe this week so we're not gonna have it back for a few more weeks but we do have the smoked and cured products the bacon and we got some new sausages and stuff too that you guys can try I'm gonna switch over to my phone uh, so my camera doesn't freeze up all right see if I remember everything we just restocked the caviar salmon caviar sturgeon caviar these are the new pork sausages so the Iberico sausage is now plain smoked Iberico sausage. And then we have the, the raw breakfast sausage, which has a little maple syrup and honey made with the highest quality Iberico pork from Spain. This is the smoked plain beef sausage. So we showed you guys these three over the past few weeks. We've had these in for a few weeks now, but these are the brand new sausages. And we just got a lot of restock stuff sitting in the back of the freezer here that we have to organize and put where it's supposed to be but uh we've been busy and i did all the orders myself in the freezer this week so uh we'll get to this in a day or two these are all the the chicken breasts single portions back in stock so all the chicken for the most part is back available we have chicken breast drumsticks thighs some organs some liver and we have chicken wings so if you guys have been waiting for chicken polar parts we have it we restocked the ground venison this week this actually looks uh some of it looks a little fattier than venison usually is but uh we were sold out of that for a few weeks so we do have it back over here we restocked our beef chuck roll and our beef chuck steaks this is the carne asada that i showed you guys in the day of eating last week so we got one pound portioned carne asada steaks so you basically just take this out thaw it out really delicious ready to cook some of the leaner stuff we got one pound London broil as well as the 95.5 lean blend back available this is even leaner than venison uh, these are both made from top round which we use for the roast beef we got a lot of collagen broth this is what we're going to be giving away this week with all the orders restock the chicken broth highest quality chicken broth on the market we have too much liverwurst, so we're probably gonna give this away next week after we're done giving away the collagen broth. This is a fresh batch of hot dogs. So once we sell the, the ones we have in here right now for the discounted price, the new hot dogs will be available. Over here, we just have some steaks for restocking. These are some thick cut one pound ribeyes. We got some eight ounce strip steaks and one pound strip steaks. Showed you guys the past few weeks. Ground turkey now available. We're out of ground chicken breast, but this is pretty close. We got beef cheeks. These are like between one and two pounds each. Uh, each of this is like a cheek portion. So, you know, the cow has two cheeks on its head, two cheeks on its face, and each of these is half of it. So between one and two pounds of beef, these are great for slow cooking, braising. Got the pecani steaks back in stock. Definitely the best bang for your buck steak we offer. And what's new and special is raw blood sausage. So what we did was 
take 100% grass-fed beef, beef blood, raw garlic, raw onion, some herbs and spices in there, a little bit of salt. So it's basically a seasoned, flavorful sausage that has blood in it for a little more protein. I gotta try a pack of these out myself, but this is the only raw beef sausage that we have now. So we have the plain smoked collagen sausage, we got the hot dogs, and now we have raw blood sausage available. I guess this is the, the big new meat product this week that we haven't had before. We got the whole picanhas back in stock too. If you guys want three or four pound picanha, and then I showed you guys last week, we got kefir ice cream, new flavor. So we showed you guys everything in the fridge and freezer that I remember. We're gonna go to the office and uh, read some reviews. I didn't show you guys on the foods website. Uh, we're trying to restock all the bars. I think we have most of the bars available. Uh, I think we sold out of granola, but we did make some more and we did make some more vanilla. We just have to package them up this week. Yeah, I emailed uh, Hike Vision about this beeping DVR because I don't know why it's beeping because everything's working. Like the cameras are recording. It's uh, it's writing to the hard drive. So when they get back to me via email, I won't have to put up with the, the beeping noise anymore. I mean, I'm not usually in here. It's only just to print the orders out real quick every day. So it's only going to be annoying now for you guys. A little bit of nonsense as usual this week. This newspaper company was using my porch as a drop-off spot and I found out because some lady stole the rock salt bags in front and like I had it on camera and everything. I was actually thinking of titling the video with that because it was a little dramatic but um, once I called and emailed the newspaper company, which I didn't like because they never responded back or confirmed anything, the rock salt bags mysteriously reappeared on my porch and I don't think they're using that as a drop-off site anymore. So. Um, that was a little dramatic. Some lady emailed me complaining that her order arrived frozen. So probably a raw tart being ridiculous because uh, it says on our page, hey, we ship everything frozen unless you order fresh. So it's just like people doing really ridiculous stuff all the way. And then she was like, I'm going to tell my bank and they're going to side with me. I'm like, what are you going to tell your bank? That the meat arrived frozen in perfect condition? Like people, I don't know if these people are trolling me or what, but it's completely ridiculous. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of orders that people are only, or you guys are only ordering like four or five pounds of meat. So I think like 20 to 30% of the orders this week, I sent you uh, a bill for extra ice for summer shipping. It said something like small order summer shipping fee. Most of them were $5. Some of them were $10. But like, like someone would order two of the marrow butter, which is expensive because it's pure bone marrow. And it's like, four pounds of product and they're shipping it to California. But four pounds of product is like, it's like this much. The amount of ice I have to put in there to keep it cold is, uh, so I, I don't wanna have to raise the order minimum because most of the time, like it's enough, if it's, if it's less than eight or nine pounds of meat, there's gonna be a problem because I can't afford to put $10 worth of ice in it myself. So a lot of you guys might've got an email that it was an updated invoice for the shipping fee. That's if you're only like, maybe someone will order two Wagyu ribeye steaks and a caviar. So usually stuff like that's okay, but sometimes people will order like the bare minimum, it'll be like a hundred dollar order and there's like three pounds of meat in it and like seven things of milk. So in those scenarios with this summer heat, uh, mainly, for, mainly for Florida and Texas orders some California. So you guys are going to get a bill if you don't order at least 10 pounds of meat because, uh, you, you know, like if you guys want to help me out, you know, try to order 10 or 15 pounds, you know, you, you spending the extra 20 or $30 makes that makes a huge difference in, uh, between ordering the minimum versus an extra 20 or 30 bucks makes it from, you know, me not making any money to being reasonable. So we got a five star view for the best burger blend delicious steak burgers this burger meat is incredible it's really quality steak that is ground into burger meat combine frankie's a plus steak sauce and it is pure heaven uh, five star review for the wagyu tenderloin steak always the best i will not eat anything else this has me spoiled yeah no uh I, last time i had those wagyu tenderloin were like a few months ago definitely definitely tasty the wagyu tenderloin is nice because the marbling and the flavor of the Wagyu make up for filet mignon usually not being 
uh, that flavorful. Five star review for the grass fed pastrami. Amazing, 10 out of 10 quality. Yeah, I honestly, if my memory serves me correct, I'm like 100% sure I made almost 200 pounds of raw brisket. I really should have wrote it down, but then we only got 115 pounds back. So I don't remember a smoke yield being that bad, but it's possible. So we're out. Five star review for the Flextrose Organic Glucose Powder. Special product, I like adding a bit of Flextrose to my water along with a regular dose of lemon light. I also use this to sweeten my oatmeal and pancakes just a tad as this does not disrupt my belly as some other sweeteners do. Yeah, that might be one of the most special products we've ever come up with. Uh, and if I wasn't censored in shadow ban, that's probably a million, 10, 20 million dollar idea on its own. The Organic Glucose. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar, like bodybuilders use Dextrose or um, a lot or like some runners use dextrose products and it's all low quality conventional corn crap and i found an organic source that i've been selling for a few years now but whatever i don't think we even sell it some weeks we don't sell any of it some weeks five star view for the grass-fed beef pet food my dog loves this stuff ordered over two dozen packages of this stuff it's fantastic dog loves it and eats every bite every time ordering more so this is an interesting contrast from the review we got last week on the pet food. Go figure. So I understand there can be some inconsistencies with the product, but the people that are having the inconsistencies for some reason, coincidentally, are first-time customers trying to take advantage of me. Here, here's an, So this, this first-time customer left me a one-star review on Google. Spent $100 worth of raw dairy products, and they're absolutely horrible. The milk was delivered to me on 523 and the sell by date was 520. The pack date was 521 because we literally milked those cows the day before and sent you the dairy products as fresh as humanly possible. The cream cheese tasted like thicker milk, all absolutely tasteless. Absolute worst customer service I've ever seen when I reached out with a complaint. They wrote a quick sentence back accusing me of trying to take advantage of a small business. I threw all of the $100 of product away. It was bad. Listen up, Miss Alley. I sold over a hundred units of each of those products last week and I didn't get one complaint. So guys, if you have any issue, if you had any issue with the dairy products, if you had any issue with the dairy products, please reach out to me, let me know. And if there was a problem, we'll issue you a refund. But I'm inclined to believe since this was the only complaint from a first time customer, it's just some degenerate trying to tarnish my business reputation, which is why we filed the federal lawsuit and Miss Ali Beers, I would love to include you on it. I will take note of that. Fucking douchebags. Is all I have to say. No, bro. I, you know what, guys? I'm I'm shutting down my business. We're going out, guys. We're going to I'm going to go to Costco right now and film a video about all the cool stuff you should buy at Costco, bro. Fucking cocksuckers. Fucking people deserve nothing. Five star view for the A two A two raw butter. Yummy. Would love to see a salted version of this. I don't want to go off to, on too much of a tangent, but if if you guys hate what's going on in the world right now with the economy, with all these evil people in control of everything, just know that they hate my fucking guts and absolutely do not want you spending money on my business. That's why you see these shills commenting on all my videos, trying to derail it, talking trash about me, trying to make me feel bad. The worst thing you can do for these people is to buy from my business. So keep in mind, when you're buying from me, you're kind of kicking these assholes in the nuts because they want you to support their businesses instead. Am I going to... I'm not the type of guy that's going to go tell my, my viewers and my supporters, hey... If you see these people do this to me, go do it to all the other meat businesses. All right? Complete complete human trash. Five star view for the macadamia nut butter. Best nut butter ever. Goes great on pancakes, toasted bread, and smoothies, and great as a standalone item. I like that this brand roasts their nuts. Same with the pecan butter. Yeah, I really, I'm really hoping, I mean, this is a good product that we have on the foods, but... That that's I was actually looking at um there was an auction for like a nut butter machine it was it went for way too much money but that is something I do want to do myself in the future because macadamia nuts are, are a very special product in a sense that they're like one of the only healthy nuts like we use macadamia nut butter pecan butter hazelnut butter and walnut butter in in all of our recipes on the foods and stuff so we're really trying to keep it high quality but unfortunately 
those nut butters and nuts aren't easily accessible by the general public, especially organic versions. Because uh, most of the, you guys know, you go in the supermarket, it's all peanut butter and almond butter. That's all, that's all that it is, and those aren't that healthy. Five star view for the pasture raised chicken eggs. Fantastic eggs. These eggs are fantastic, great color, and delicious. Five star view for the beef liverwurst. Excellent choice. Wanted to try the liverwurst for nostalgia and health benefits. This was excellent. Mild taste, great choice for sandwiches or cooking. So our liverwurst is very special. It's basically, guys, sorry about the beeping. It's driving me crazy too. It's basically a plain beef pate. And I'll, I've explained how we make it before, but we take the, the bones from the cow. You know how after you trim the meat off the cow, the bones have some meat on them. So we boil all the bones. We take that, then we take the meat off the bones and we blend it up. So our liverwurst is basically like a collagen meat pate that's super delicious and plain and mild. There's no liver, there's no organs in there. So it's a really, really special product. And I mean, it's unfortunate that I can only charge $8 a pound for it. And, uh, and we're basically giving it away most weeks because we have a lot of it and there's not much of a demand for it. But put that on every sandwich. Five star view for the chicken eggs, another review for the eggs. Fantastic, your products are fantastic. Then we got a five star view for the ribeye steak. Great ribeye, I give it five stars. Use Frankie's steak seasoning and Frankie's steak sauce, and it came out delicious. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. Um, honestly, sometimes I just like eating steak on its own, which is salt, but uh, I, w I do want to try that. The steak seasoning with the steak sauce, too. I The steak sauce on its own is what I've been doing. It's absolutely delicious, but I'm curious how well it goes with the, the steak seasoning. Five star review for the grass fed beef tongue. Extremely fresh. The tongue was extremely fresh tasting and delicious. We're very pleased with the packaging as well. All the meat we ordered was completely frozen and we live on the other side of the country. It was meticulously packaged. We're very pleased with everything and will be forever customers. We're blessed to have access to this amazing meat. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, five star review for the gift cards. Great gift. Ordered a hundred dollar gift card, which took about two weeks to be delivered. Uh oh, but I'm very happy with the gift card. Thanks. And I look forward to ordering you. Blame the post office, bro. This is, this is these. How much are stamps now? Eighty cents each. I'm trying to sell, I'm trying to save money and send you guys the gift cards cheap, so I don't have to charge shipping for them. But <laughs> hey, so, look, dude, the post office is so unreliable. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I try my best to send everything out as soon as possible, but just keep that in mind with the gift cards, guys. It might take a. It's not going to take two weeks to get there. That was a little ridiculous, but it should get. It should get there within a week. Probably bad timing on the order. Because a lot of you guys are like, you think day by day, but stuff doesn't move Friday through Sunday, guys. FedEx, USPS, UPS, most people work normal. Like, we don't, we don't have access to the Amazon shipping network or whatever that is. So keep in mind, guys, business days for the most part are what you got to expect. Uh, five star view for the pasture raised whole chicken best chicken got the whole chicken and grilled it with a homemade marinade best chicken I've ever had the quality is really top-notch and the proper diet that chickens eat really shows in its flavor and texture Yeah, chickens chickens super fresh every week frozen right after slaughter Five star view for the organic Jardinera lacto fermented wonderful blend of fermented veggies really enjoy organic Jardinera lacto fermented muffin. Yeah, that's that's a really special product because I'm like it's a very unique combination of vegetables and I'm excited that we did that but I haven't been selling too much of it another roof for the eggs best eggs these eggs are delicious and the orange yolks are so beautiful compared to the pale yellow egg yolks from other eggs I will be buying again uh, that's it for the reviews yeah so as always if you guys have any issues or concerns with your order please just take a photo and send it to me uh, we explained in the vlog last week and we have all the policies on the FAQ page on the website. If you're a first time customer and you have any concerns about the quality of the product, please just take your phone and film a video of yourself opening the package because there have been a lot of people trying to take advantage of me and my business. We, we do an excellent job of making sure you guys get the freshest, highest quality uh, products possible, packaged with a lot of ice and shipped very quickly. So. Uh, what generally happens is people tend to lie and try to do things where they say the product was bad but they never show me any proof of it so if you guys do have any issues please just 
sends an email, let me know, take some photos, and, uh, and we'll sort everything out. But I don't. Our 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 success rate with ship it's very very high. We, very very few people have any issues with products whatsoever. Especially, I mean, this year in general, it's it's been very rare that anything has arrived. Uh, I mean. I think like three weeks ago were the first few packages. Uh, there was like an issue with FedEx or some storms or something. And like two or three packages got held over the weekend that we had to issue a refund for. But that's that that's very obvious. Like the FedEx tracking will say, you know, that we shipped the package on Monday and you didn't get it until the next Monday. So that's an obvious, okay, we'll refund the, the product. But um, that usually doesn't happen. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we showed you all the new stuff. Uh, all the businesses are available on frankdestefano.com. Uh, when, when you guys support, like, especially the supplement business, that really help. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to run the meat business. The, like, the supplements and stuff, and you guys even sp just spending 20, 30 bucks or whatever makes makes a huge difference because, uh, you know, we're not, that doesn't have perishable shipping, and, and we're able to use that income to supplement the meat business. Same with the naturals. We're liquidating everything and hopefully going to do some new products on the naturals. Wi-Fi shielding, I didn't show you guys today, but we have all the clothing back in stock on the, the Wi-Fi shielding website. Part of the reason I'm sweating my guts out so much is I always wear the clothing. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything, guys. frank Thanks again for joining, and uh, we'll see you guys for the next video. I think I'll try to, to do a video. Uh, we'll do a taste test on all the new products that we have recently. Uh, probably just the sausages. I wanted to do a taste test on everything. Well, maybe we'll do the bacon too. I really wanted to include the pastrami, but we ran out and uh, I mean, pastrami usually takes two weeks to brine. I wonder if one week is, is okay too, but we'll see. I'll see you guys soon.